It take 35 minutes every time. No, no, total weight. Just barely. <laughs> All right, what's up, YouTube? It is the next day. I don't remember if I showed y'all where I parked, but that's what the camera rolling right now for. My dispatch sent me a crazy load. Pay like, I don't know. I make $907, almost $1,000 to go, I think 230 miles or 330 miles, something like that. Then we about to pull over to the fuel island so I can throw this trash away. I made breakfast this morning. It was decent. It always feel good when I start my day off with like a regular breakfast. If you got a Pete like me, Tell me how you enter your password in fast. It take forever. That's a cool Pete over there, y'all. I don't know if y'all see that. That purple is so All right, y'all. About to get this trash up out of here. This is annoying. I miss my old truck. I had like a hook up front. And the hook would hold the strings to a regular trash bag with drawstrings. And it just was so much more convenient because it would hold more trash. Like this trash makes me take out the trash. I mean... I'm about to sound so lazy saying this, but I gotta be real. Taking out the trash once a day in a semi is crazy. Why is it that much freaking trash? I'm trying to do this joint like once every two, three days. So we about to switch back to the old system as soon as I run out of bags. This truck's smoking, y'all see that? Sheesh. Somebody left their gloves. I hope they come back and get them. Oh. Uh. Still raining a little bit. I don't know why that wheel got that old blue on there. How you doing, boss? It sucks that it rained right after I got my truck washed, but at the same time, water better than dirt. It's not gonna stay clean all day, no way. So it is what it is. Oh, she looks good. All right, I'm gonna get my navigation and stuff set up and we're gonna get ready to get on the road. Let's see. Atlanta Bondi Warehouse. I'm picking up from the same place I'm dropping off, so that's cool. And they got Bobtail Park in there, so. Start navigation. You are heading to Atlanta Bonded Warehouse, building 7060 Kennesaw, Georgia. My bad. But like I was saying, they got overnight parking for Bobtail. So the plan is I'm going to go there, drop this load. My next load is not going to be ready until tomorrow afternoon. Come back to the truck, pick up that truck. I mean, pick up that trailer and get ready to get out of there, basically. Got my water, some to snack on, and my root beer. Please don't take this personal. Alright y'all, so this is the plan I gotta update y'all. Maybe about 100 miles ago, one of my boys called me because he seen that I was coming into the city. He said, you got my location. So we chopping it up. And he like, bet bro, where we going out tonight? This is the part I be trying to tell people about. Like when I be on Instagram and stuff, trying to tell people like some of the benefits of leasing, you know you got a lot more flexibility and stuff like that. So basically, I'm about to stop at this truck stop in five miles. I'm gonna go in there real quick, give me a shower in in and out hopefully like 30 minutes or less uh clean myself up and all that then get in the truck go deliver the load my next load doesn't pick up until tomorrow night if y'all remember right so deliver the load tonight go out do my thing with my boys get up in the morning we'll get up tomorrow afternoon get in the truck and back to work people be thinking because you over the road you don't have no life like they think you just turned in all your freedom and all that bro if you do it right it don't have to be like that No luck. My last 
last resort before I just take a fuel island is going to be um, maybe they'll have one of them shut down or broken down one of the pumps and if that's the case is that a park? Nope, somebody in there if that's the case then I'll, uh, I'll just go and park in front of the cone or whatever that's my last wish but eh, it ain't looking good I ain't feeling too confident about that signal nothing maybe I should try to park where he at about to deal with all that if I don't have to. We pull it right in there. We still gonna be fast though. I killed the cone, y'all. Just barely, too. Look. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to stop right here. Get us a shower real quick. All right. Now let's get us some clean clothes to change into. Let's see what we're working with. These. Just some black pants. All right, pants. Shirt, undershirt, underwear, belt for the pants. But we're not gonna put all that on right now, obviously. We're gonna wait until we about to get ready to go out. Now, you know it would be so sad. What if I go through all this, <laughs> getting ready, figuring out somewhere I could park, blah, blah, blah. And then I get in there and they ain't got no showers. Like this place don't got showers or something. Cause that be happening to me sometimes, bro. More often than you would think. But this in Atlanta, they, you know what I'm saying? They gotta be busy enough where they know better than that. And not have no showers. All right, let's see if we could book us one. Yep, they got three of seven available. Purchase, check in. And just like that, we good. So let's get some socks. I'm wearing black shoes. A pair of white socks and a pair of black socks obviously y'all know the routine and yeah we should be good we're gonna turn the lights off i'm gonna turn i was gonna leave my hazards on but they'll see the cone and know better Got my phone we should be good right for at night all right It's raining so hard. That's gonna be annoying tonight. Hopefully it chill out. It's raining all on my head. <laughs> yes sir, yes sir. What shower I got number five. One, four, two, seven, six pounds. Oh, we got a decent one. Yes, sir. You look ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to tap in with y'all when I get done with this. All right, y'all. So I didn't finish my shower up. I'm about to um get ready to go. 
back to the truck. Thankfully, I ain't had no problems so far. They ain't like announced I need to move it or nothing like that. So I hope I ain't jinxed it. That scared me. But anyway, I'm finna finish packing my shower bag. We're gonna get up out of here. Got my keys in my pocket to make sure I ain't forget nothing. And I didn't. We gone. about a lunchable excuse me sorry yeah we might do a lunchable two of these should be okay how you doing can I check out with you So much. You too. Back to the rain, y'all. Oh, it ain't that bad. Just gotta avoid the puddles so my socks don't get wet. Two lunchables for dinner, so my back don't get too too big. We trying to keep it to a minimum. All right, y'all. Back to it. So we back on road. Got my lunchables. I was in there for 41 minutes. So a little longer than I planned on it, but I had to use the bathroom. Y'all know how that be. Um, we are 21 minutes away from where we going. 21 minutes or 25 minutes, I guess. They said 21 at first, I don't know. But about to eat a couple of these little lunchable things and then we gonna slide out. Ain't nobody behind me. chilled out a little bit thank god i'm gonna let him go because he clearly want to go more than i do go ahead boss oh you must have seen him apart Yeah, 25 more minutes, and we will be at R90. Somebody I'm supposed to call. After 
enter half a mile turn right. I'm like, are they not gonna let me in here? Checking in with customer. All right, so we're gonna get our bills and go in there and see what's up. Oh. About to go in here and hope for the best. How you doing, boss? Uh, I'm here, I got an order. Grab a slip of paper. A sticky note or one of these? One of those. Okay. And then you know there's a sticky note sitting there. You said go over there and sit there? Uh, that is our other Hershey building three minutes back up the street. Uh huh. And then we're taking that letter. Okay. Alright, thank you. Uh, they're open and everything, right? Yeah, the 24-7 building. Uh, okay, cool. Thank you. Alright, so. We're actually not there, even though I thought I was. We are going to 3000 Cobb International. Start navigation. You God, are heading we... to Atlanta Bonded Warehouse Corporation, Kennesaw, Georgia. It don't never be this loud when I'm in the truck. So we gonna roll up the street real quick. All right, y'all. Let's get ready to head up the street. Gotta put this code in. It take 35 minutes every time. I swear.
right, y'all. So they have. I pick up a load from them in the morning. I think I already told y'all about that, but uh, it's gonna be a minute before um, they're not gonna let me park here overnight. So I'm gonna have to find somewhere else for the truck for the truck to park. And I'm thinking I'm gonna take it back where I just came from. He said anywhere up here on the uh, right is cool to park at. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and disconnect from this trailer. Hold on, we need some flash this time. All right. I could have took it back a little bit more, but I was worried about this trailer back here. It's another trailer behind me and I couldn't see it good. I knew it was a reefer right here and I didn't even want to take a chance on bumping it. So this is going to have to do. Yep, we're in good shape. You can see my breath, so you would think it's cold, but it's so not cold. I don't know why it's like frosty, frosty breath like that. Let's do our drop trailer inspection. No, no, total weight 42 something or 36, 730. Add it to our bills for this month. 
we good. We gotta do our trip sheet, but other than that, we good. So next time I talk to y'all, I'll probably be outside having a good time. I appreciate y'all for watching this far. If you wanna see a little bit more of my personal life, go ahead and keep watching.